Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to some more career mode goodness now if you guys follow me on Twitter or like my Facebook page or whatever uh, And if you guys don't then feel free to click the links down below in the description But uh, I made a little bit of an announcement and it's something that I feel as though you guys have really really asked me um, I'm not gonna ruin a surprise, but I'm bringing back a series that I was quite well known for I suppose back in FIFA 12 um, You know, that's when I started the series so I think you guys are gonna enjoy it and uh, I can't wait to bring it back I will bring it back uh, after the New Year's when everything comes down because you know the end so from about the 20th of December it's all been really hectic I've been really busy with all this sort of festive fun stuff um, so when I get back from New Year's I'll be able to bring it back fully but um, that doesn't mean I'm stopping career mode, of course I'm going to continue career mode uh, because I know I have a lot of fans who enjoy it and uh, I, I really enjoy doing it myself. I just love to see how players progress and develop. And speaking of which, Chelsea, what the fuck, man? Like, this team, last season, I just couldn't beat. Um, I, I think I came close last season, but uh, this is my first game against them this season. And, oh, oh, if you exclude the, um, I think it's the Community Shield. This is my first game against them uh, in the league, and oh my gosh. What an absolute pain in the ass it is to play them. They are so good. Eden Hazard, Falcao, like they've just got so many good players up front and uh, their attacking is just crazy. Um, and I know I have a very strong attacking team as well, but it's just something about their entire team I struggle so hard against. And in all honesty, I feel as though it's their center backs that just make it such a challenge for me to uh, get past. But Muriel does a great job of turning the defender there and uh, definitely a defensive mistake on their part, but um, besides that, I found it so tough to break them down. And uh, all of them have great ball control. And it was just, I, I don't know. I think Chelsea are going to win the title this uh, season. Um, it's definitely my ambition to win the title. But they're just so strong. And uh, throughout playing this game, I just felt as, I just felt so weak and useless in all honesty. Again, Falcao completely rips open my defense there with uh, some nice ball control and puts into the back of the net to make it 3-1. And uh, that just summed up my game against them. They were just too good on a different level and I'm more than happy to admit that because uh, they just look so strong at the moment but I've decided recently that um, one of the things that I should be doing, uh, by the way, Goetze, or Goetze isn't playing this game for the reason that he's actually injured at the moment. It's a really short injury, though. I think it's about a week, maybe two maximum. Um, but I've recently uh, listened to you guys in the comments. A lot of you guys have actually said that uh, making substitutions around the 70-minute mark, I understand this uh, in that particular game. It was a bit of a late substitution. But uh, I'm going to try and do that, you know, make some uh, 70th minute, 60th, 70th minute substitutions because, um, you know, uh, supposedly it helps a lot out with fitness and you'll find your players being able to play longer less injuries that sort of thing and that's something I personally I tried that out um, in season one because I literally had to my players fitness uh, fitness was just uh, so bad all the time but uh, I feel as though I can definitely go ahead and try that out this time around with um uh, in this particular season, uh, but we had a game against Dortmund, and we got Royce, um, Goetz as well, they're both two players that used to be, um, Borussia Dortmund players, and they're going back to face their old club, but unfortunately, there wasn't room for either of those players, still, Goetz was still injured, and, uh, Royce just isn't a, my first, uh, choice striker, so unfortunately, both of those guys had to sit this game out, um, I don't, I may have brought Royce on towards the end of the game, but, uh, yeah, one of the biggest things about Dortmund, uh, uh, oh, look, and they also have Hoylet as well. Hoylet used to play for uh, my team QPR, but uh, we sold him on. But, um, yeah, the biggest thing for me about playing um, Dortmund is the fact their centre-backs are crazy. They have Hummels, I believe, Hummels, and uh, as well as Felipe Santana, two fantastic centre-backs, uh, and they were so hard to break down. Their defence is absolutely rock-solid. I have to admit, though, attacking-wise, they really did lack, and I can kind of understand that because I suppose I stole their two really good attacking players, um, Royce and Goetze, so I can kind of understand their lack of uh, attacking, but at the same time, their defence was just magnificent. It really was, so all credit to them for that, and uh, unfortunately for me, that meant I could only manage to put one goal past them. But hey, um, you know, I was top of the table. I had six points. Dortmund had four points. And now at the end of this, I'm sitting pretty at the top of the table with nine points. And uh, I've just got a phone call. So BRB, peeps.
I'm back. Sorry about that. I had a uh, quick phone call, but we just had a Champions League game, and uh, Ajax there beating the other team in my uh, Champions League group 1-0, um, and that means I'm sitting pretty comfortable at the top of the table. Ajax and Dortmund probably fighting for second spot, I'd say, uh, because um, I, I'm pretty confident that um, the other team, Moskva, um, one of the Russian League sides, are unfortunately out of it. I'm pretty sure that's the way it's going to be, but uh, I'm on nine points, and the rest of them are sort of scrapping for second place in my group, but I cannot wait for this um, for the rest of the Champions League it's something I've really wanted to do well in and uh, it'd be fantastic could you imagine if we win the Champions League the first time round with QPR um, I don't know if it's gonna be possible there are gonna be some really incredible sides coming up uh, that I'm gonna have but uh, we can always hope I suppose but recently, the fixtures have just been an absolute bitch. If we take a look at, like, just this episode, really. So, I've got Arsenal now. But uh, before that, I had Chelsea, then Dortmund, now Arsenal. I mean, that is a tough, tough set of uh, games. And not to mention, that you know, they're pretty close together. Although, the fitness of my team's holding up pretty well. Uh, you know, that's not too big of an issue. But I know the later it goes on in the season, the more that's going to become an issue. But uh, at the moment, fitness-wise is all right. But still, you know, not everyone's perfect. I'm finding that Sahin is actually you know, really struggling with playing the games in in and out. But fortunately, we have Pogba, who's actually still injured at the moment, but uh, Adrian, who just makes for an absolutely wonderful replacement. And uh, unfortunately, Goetze is obviously still injured, but uh, I've got plenty of replacements, got enough depth in the midfield for uh, them to sort of rotate and change around. Uh, but Arsenal, why are they so damn good on FIFA? But here is an exact reason why I'm really hesitant about Ter Stegen. There, I'm kind of putting the blame on him for that goal. I understand there was a bit of FIFA BS, but I, sh you know, Ter Stegen should not be letting those in. It, that, those sort of goals really didn't happen to me as frequently before I brought Ter Stegen in. And, uh, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed with that, but, uh, you know, for some reason Arsenal are just, play. they try, They play like Barcelona every game on FIFA. And uh, although that's kind of like real life, uh, they try to play a bit like Barcelona. Um, they, they don't always succeed in it in real life, but uh, for some reason, on here, it's just always like that, you know. It is so, so annoying. <laughs> it really is. Um, but... Uh, that was 1-1, one, one, so that means one point, and uh, Arsenal are actually pretty high up in the table, so 1-1 one, one isn't as bad as it looks for me, but I really do need to start bringing in the points. Um, I need more goals, and I need to start getting uh, three points, because there's been too many games where I'm just not picking up the three points. If I want to ch uh, challenge for the title, I've got to start winning games, but like I said, guys, there probably won't be a video tomorrow. If I can get one up, of course, you guys know I'll try my best, but uh, you know, it is coming up to New Year's, and um, it's going to be pretty, pretty hectic, and busy to say the least uh, but I can't wait to bring you guys this uh, well I don't want to say a new series but bringing this series back from uh, the FIFA 12 days and uh, I can't wait to see if you guys enjoy it again have a fantastic day hope you guys all have a good night and I'll see you later bye bye unlucky QPR